Hello everyone. Now in this section, I will show you how you can take a PDF and you have to open it, then extract the text from any page you want. So the first thing you have to do is to have a PDF, so which which is a book or something like that that you want to read it or you want to listen it. So I will take this PDF for example. You, there is two ways you can put the PDF directly in the same direction where you are saving your Python file or you can put it anywhere you want but it will differ in the program I will show you how you can do that because if you want to open a PDF you need to give the path of this PDF so if you are you are saving the PDF at the same path uh, where you are saving your Python file it will be easy but if you are not saving the PDF at the same path or, or at the same folder where you are saving your Python file, so you need to take the entire uh, path, for example, from your desktop to the folder to the PDF, for example. But if you want it to be very easy, you have just to take the PDF and put it at the same path or at the same folder where you are saving your, uh, your Python file. For the, for the moment we are saying this, but after that when we create our uh, application, you don't need this anymore because you will choose your PDF by clicking the button, so you don't need to give the path in the program, you will choose it by yourself. So just for this uh, section, I am saying that just to, say, to see how to extract the text from any PDF, but in the next sections, we will create our application so you don't need to take the path uh, manually so we will take it after uh, you will choose it after clicking in the button that will open the pdf okay so now here here is our uh, previous uh, program that we used so i will just take this or i will take give it a comment here so that we will we won't listen it again now to do the, this, we need to in, import the library that uh, help us to uh, manipulate the PDF file. So we have installed it in the first uh, section. So this this uh, library called py pdf tree. What is it? The two. Sorry, this one. By PDF2. So this library will help us to manipulate our PDF. So we have just imported so that you can use any function of the included in this uh, uh, library. So after uh, importing it, what we need to do is just to write our program. You will see that it is easy as this one. So the first thing we have to open the PDF. So I will put some comments. So we have to open the PDF, what I am writing, <laughs> PDF, then we need to, uh, after opening it, we need to read it, so to do this we have to read the PDF, after reading the PDF we, knew, we need to choose the page that we want to take the text from it, so here, the choosing the page that we want to to read it or to listen it then here after reading the text we have to extra extract it from the page then after taking the text from the page from then after taking the text from the page we need to to print it or to say it or something like this so i will just Add this comment for example print the text from the page like this now after doing this what we have we will start by this one open the PDF to open the PDF there is a function called open it is not included in this one it is included in Python so we will take the PDF but after, before that we need to put it in a variable so that we can use it after so I will give it for example book the, this variable called the book so book equal open this function open and inside the parentheses there is two parameters that we need to do the first parameter is the path where we are using we are putting our PDF so that's what I was talking about so the first thing that we have to give in this uh, uh, parameters 
or be in, inside or between these parentheses is the path of our PDF. So in this case, we have the PDF in the same folder where we are saving our uh, Python file. So we don't need to give it any path. We need to give it just the name of the PDF because the first path that it will search for it, it is the same path that we are saving our PDF. So if we are saving the PDF, sorry, not the PDF, the Python file, mean that means that if we are saving the PDF at the same folder where we are saving the PDF, uh, the Python file, sorry, in this case, it doesn't need any other path. So I will, if we want to write the path, we need to put it inside this one. So quotation marks. So here, what we need to write between the quotation marks, just the name of our PDF, then the extension of our PDF. So PDF, as you can see here, named book. So we have just to write book dot PDF like this. This one is this the first parameter, and there is another parameter for this function, which is what we want to do with this PDF. We want to read it, or we want to write it, or we don't know. So in this case, we want to read the PDF. So we, we want to take the PDF from the folder and enter it in our program, then work with it. So we want to read it. So we will take uh, R for read. Then wh how, uh, in, what, uh, in what type of variables or in what type of data we want to read it. So in this case, we want to read it as binary. So we want to read it binary. So we have to read to, to write uh, R for read then B for binary, okay? As you can see, it is very easy, Python. We have open the name of the PDF, then read it as binary, okay? After opening our PDF, I will just make space here. After opening the book, what we need to do, we have to read it. So to read it, I will give it, for example, read file. This, uh, this is another variable that will take the, the file that we will read from the PDF. So here we open it, now we will read it. So to read it, we have just to use a function that is already included in the library, which is pypdf2. So to call any function from this library, we need to type, to type the name of the library. Then here that, read fi PDF file reader, this one. So this function will read the PDF. Then inside the parentheses, we have to give it a, a parameter. And what do you think? Here, we want to read a PDF, so in this case, we want to read, for example, this book. So we have to put the name of the book. So we will open it and put it in this function that will read it, okay? After reading the PDF, I will give a space here. After reading this, the, the PDF, what we need to do, we have to choose a page, the page that we want to read or we want to, to extract or something like this. So to do this, we have just, for example, I will write, I will create another variable called page. So page equal, now what we have to do, we have to write the PDF, which is read file, which is, uh, which is that's read file. No, we, we, have, we have to say read file because we have already read it here in this line, okay? Here, this function will read it, but the file, read file, we have to say read file because it will save the PDF in that variable. So here we have read read file that the page, which is this one, get page. So we'll get any page from our PDF. So in this case, for example, I will take the, the page six because it contains uh, some sentence so that I will just take it just for this example, but you can type any page you want. Now, after taking this one, which is uh, read uh, read file, then that got uh, that get uh, page. In this case, we have got the page that we want to read. After that, we need just to extract extract the text from that page. So to do this, we have just to write, for example, text or something like this. Don't worry about this text and this text because if we will uh, use this text here, this one will not. Sorry, this one will not take the role of this, for example, hello and uh, something like this. The new, the new variable or the new value of text will be here in this line, okay? So here we will give it text. Then here what we have to do is just to type the name or the name of the page that we have. Then that extract text. Then we'll extract the text from it. Then like this. After extracting the text here, this 
variable text has the text as a string so we can print it we can say it we can do anything with it so I will just print it like this to say to see what we have in this variable so I will press run here as you can see here is the text that we have in that page okay so as you can see there is not a lot of um, steps that we have to do the first step is this one we have to open the book as re uh, we read it as binary then we have to read file as pdf which is here we will open it then here we will read it as a pdf like this read file uh, pdf file reader then we have to put we have to choose the page from that pdf this page that we want to say or we want to read then we need to extract the text from that uh, page after that we after after this step we can we can do anything with this one we can uh, print it we can uh, say it or something like this so we'll stop here and in the next section i will show you how you can make the program talking or how make the program saying the words that are in the pdf so bye hi again in this video i will show you how you can put that text that we extracted from the pdf and put it in the speaker you will see we will do it in just some steps here we will change we won't change anything for this one from opening the pdf to read it we will just change this one because we don't want to print it in this case we want to say it or we want to put it in the speaker so as you can see here what is the relation between this one and this one is just the text so before if we want to say something we have to initialize the speaker and if you want to say it we have to put that text inside it then here i will uncomment this one then we have to run it so the, the, the only thing that will change in this case is the text in the first video we put the text this one uh, hello how are you uh, beautiful people but in this one the text will be the page that we have extracted from that pdf so what we have to do we have just to take this one Control x or command x if you are using mac so here we have to initialize it so i will take it i will put a comment here in it the speaker like this then after initializing the speaker what we have to do we have to give it because here we have uh, speaker that say then the text I will take this text off because we don't need it anymore so but we need this text so control or command X then here where we have the text this is the text that we have so we will put the speaker here so speaker that say the text then we have to run it like this I will take this one then run it so what we have to do we will take we will initialize our speaker then we will take the pdf we can put this one uh, under this one but i want to put it at the first of the program so we won't uh, forget it now we will initialize the speaker then we will open the pdf after that we have to read the pdf then we take the page that we want to read after that we have to ex extract the text from that uh, page after taking the text we have just to put it here in the speaker and we will say it now we'll see how it works so i will just run it abstract three abstract it follows from resource scarcity that some form of healthcare rationing is unavoidable this implies that potentially beneficial medical treatments must be denied to patients who have in unacceptable so, sacrifices in other areas of society by focusing terminal. okay so as you can see it work as we want we have just to take the text and put it in this uh, in this uh, function which is say what is it function say this one say so we take all these uh, lines just to take the text and take the page and extract it then we put it in this function which will say the text after that we will run it so so this is the program that we this is the base pro program that we need after that what we need to do is just to create the face of our application and we have to put this program in our uh, application and we will have fun by listening our books so I, in the next video we will start creating our application so i see you there bye